Okay, right here is a 1963 Euclid R30. This is a 30-ton off-road truck that was first introduced by Euclid in 1962 as a replacement for the company's older model, the R27. Three variations of the R30 were produced by Euclid GM. A 69TD, a 70TD, and a 71TD. Now, all three trucks looked exactly the same in their design and in appearance. The only difference was all three trucks were powered by three different engines. Euclid did this to give its customers a choice of what powering system the customer would prefer to have installed in the truck. The 69TD was GM powered with a 6110 six cylinder diesel which would put out 317 horsepower. The 70TD was the only truck out of the three that was Cummins powered with an NT335 turbo diesel which was six cylinder and would put out 306 horsepower. The most powerful variation of an R30 was the 71TD, which is what you're looking at right here. This truck is also GM powered, but unlike the 69TD, the 71TD is powered by a GM 12V71 two-cycle 12-cylinder engine, which you can see right under the hood there. This engine produces 348 horsepower for the truck. And up on the top of the nose, you can see where it says, Uke R30. On the front of this truck is a common design feature that you will find on almost all these old Euclid GM haulers. This is a front guard to protect the radiator, which is right behind it, from any rocks or falling debris. And also in the front, take note of the two round circular front headlights, a classic design on all these older Euclid haulers. This truck features leaf spring suspension in the front, which you can see right there mounted to the front axle. In the front here, you can see the one steering cylinder, which connects back to work the tie rods to turn both tires left or right. In 1963, this truck received a lot of mechanical upgrades and also a redesigned operator's cab. Prior to 1963, when this truck was first introduced in 1962, the operator's cab looked very similar to what you would find on the older R27 off-road truck. Now I'll take you up inside the operator's cab and I'll show you the control setup. Here you can get a good overview of the operator's cab on an R30. Okay, out in front here, this is the water temperature gauge. This is for the battery. This is the converter temperature, clutch pressure. This is the lube pressure and the air pressure gauge. Right here is the RPMs, tachometer, and here's the speedometer. This is the starter to start the truck. The hand lever that you see mounted below the steering wheel on the tree is called a trolley brake. On the floor, gas and brake pedal. And right here is the gear shift for the transmission. This is a power shift type transmission with six forward speeds, neutral and reverse. And there's a good operator's view if you were driving the truck. And you'll take note of the metal fan. Again, on these older Euclid haulers, there is no air conditioning. And because the cab is not very well insulated, it receives a lot of noise and vibration from the engine, which makes it very loud inside the cab and also very hot in the summertime. Mounted between the operator's cab and the dump box is the diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here. And there are two caps on each end of the tank to fuel it from both sides with diesel fuel. Right here you can see the hydraulic oil tank. And these two round tanks you see right here are air tanks. And again, the R30 is a 30-ton capacity truck. Take note that on the dump box you will see a lot of ribs lining the body. This is to reinforce it so that when a load is being dropped in, the body doesn't tend to bend or twist. Now on this side, right here mounted on the superstructure is the machine's serial number and model ID. And you can see where it says, 71TD. Now, let's talk a little bit about the transmission on this truck. 
The 71 TD had an Allison CLBT 5860. Again, this is a six-speed transmission. However, the 69 and 70 TDs did not carry the same transmission as the 71 TD. They were equipped with an Allison CLBT 5660 six-speed transmission. Here you can see the drive shaft running back to power the rear tires. And right here, you can see where the two lift cylinders are to raise and lower the dump box. And again, here in the front, you can see the leaf spring suspension used on the front axle. Over here, you can see the two air intakes and the air cleaner below. But there she is, a 1963 Euclid R30. And later on in 1965, this truck was replaced by the model 74 and 75 TD R35.